dormant or fake followers 1,533 okay <laughs> hi guys it's me Anne, and I am back with another video in today's video we are going to discuss Instagram why you're not growing and how you can fix it but first if you're new here hi welcome again my name is Anne. if you haven't yet please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted every time that I upload a video if you want Um, in wanting to return to YouTube and just kind of get more serious about my brand and all that stuff, um, I decided to do an audit of everything. One thing that I decided to audit, of course, was Instagram. Now, I realized that I was stuck at like the same kind of follower range for a while. Like um, it would be within like the 5,000 range and then I might drop down to 4,900, but then I'd get back up to 5,000. But it never was something like, 5,500, 6,000, like I just wasn't growing. So, so that led me to kind of hop on Google to start searching and figuring out how I can like fix it. I stumbled upon this website, fakecheck.co, um, and I decided to just go with it. It was the most reasonably priced um, for what I was trying to do, and I figured, okay, I can spare like a dollar or whatever to kind of figure out what's going on. So I ran the report and this is basically what I got. At that point, I had 5,030 followers. I got an average of 227 likes. So for an account of my size, I really should have a minimum of 327 likes per post. Um, and then it also told me that I averaged 11 comments per post and I actually should be receiving a minimum of about 20 okay so it has like the graphs about average and target and all that stuff and then when I scroll down um it says engagement so their average likes is 4.52 percent um and it should be um above 6.5 percent so I was like 70 percent there engagement check number two was comments um I was only 57 percent of what it should be and then this is what got me right here follower audit so the social engagement grade I got was a d okay that's not even something that was acceptable for me in school so I switched down there and I looked and it says likely real followers 3,497 and it says dormant or fake followers 1,533 okay so that means 69% okay 70% of my followers were real and 30% were fugazi or dormant or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So the problem with having ghost and dormant followers is that when you upload a picture, Instagram with this new algorithm or any crazy algorithm that they come up with only pushes the pictures to a certain amount of your followers. And for some reason or the other, it always seems that the, the group that they choose is mostly of your dormant and ghost followers. So that's where it messes up your engagement. You want to have a healthy group of followers so that when you upload a picture, it's it's going to be seen by actual people people who are on Instagram engaging with content because the more engagement that you get on the post then Instagram will be like hmm maybe this is something other people want to see and then it'll push it out to others so that you can actually you know grow so if you have an iPhone you can um, use this app called mass unfollow for Instagram now why I suggest this app is because it can actually pinpoint ghost followers and you can set the parameters in which these people are ghosts it could be people who hasn't interacted with your content in 30 60 90 days or whatever you know time frame that you decide um, to set forth um, you can make it even a year or whatever the case is and then go back and um, the app will do its thing and select all those people now what I suggest is to then take that lit um the selection and put it onto your white list and again this is when it's going to take a little bit of work you can then log into your computer or another device and type in the screen the usernames on the white list that are ghost one by one to unfollow them because you don't want to use a mass unfollower um, because you can get flagged from instagram or something like that although the app that i used the mass unfollower it was pretty cool like it worked for me but I don't want to send you like on a mission where you mess up your whole thing and then you blame me so do the work you can input the people's username the username one by one and just unfollow them right 
So for me, I wanted to make sure that my Instagram was completely healthy. So I not only, you know, removed the, you know, fake followers that I felt were fake or whatever, I also did do the dormant followers, the people who haven't interacted in my, with my content, et cetera, et cetera. And I ended up going down to 2,631 followers, which I basically cut my followers in half. It took me, I think two to three days um, because it, it, it was a process. So when I re-ran the report after doing all this, um, it says Aniel's, uh, it says that my Instagram posts receive an average of 232 likes. Um, and then for an account with my size, it was supposed to be 171 likes. I'm not sure if it's because I uploaded another picture why the average likes kind of went down or what, but all good. Um, so I was above my like, my like ratio. Then it says I receive an average of 13 comments and I should receive a minimum of 11. So again, I grew there. So when I did the engagement check, it says I passed because my likes were average likes was at 8.827% and the average is 6.5. Okay. And then for comments, I was at 0.475 and then the comment average is 0.4. So I just made it. So the big, big, big change was in the follower audit. I got an A plus. Remember I had a D before and we done jumped all the way to an A plus. So this one says this account's likes are in line with industry standards. It says this account's comments are in line with industry standards. And it says based on the engagements from likes, this account does not appear to have any fake followers. So I completely remedied my situation, right? So then when I started scrolling through my photos where all of them were basically red for low. Oh, I did upload a new picture, that's why it changed. So basically I was above the 6.5% on every photo. The lowest that I had was about 6.6. .6. Let me double check. Yeah, the lowest I can see on the first page was about 6.6. .6. Other than that, I was at like an eight or 9%. So that told me that I completely made my Instagram healthy. So if you feel like you've been stagnant on Instagram or if you just generally want to grow your Instagram or do an audit, I suggest you go to fakecheck.co and type in your information. I think I had to pay for like my other report because the first one was free and the second one was not. And I paid like a dollar or something like that, but it was well worth it um, because my Instagram account is healthy now. When I post images or pictures rather, it's actually being pushed to people who will engage on the content and not like ghost followers and stuff like that. So I'm going to do an update on this video within a month's time to see how much I have grown after doing this, like legitimately grown. And that's with me uploading content and being consistent on Instagram um, to actually show you the overall resource within a month. But I do suggest for now that if you want to make a change or just are curious that you just log in, go ahead and see what your stats are to give you a better idea of what you need to do to improve the health of your Instagram. Oh, and since we're talking about Instagram, do not forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put like a cute little transition thing here. You know, what are you doing? That's where I'm most active, most consistent. That's where you can send me a DM and I'll see it to answer your questions and stuff like that. So, hello, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I'm definitely going to leave the links to all the resources that I mentioned down in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.